What's up guys, Jordan, Haunted Outdoors. It is a Minnesota archery opener and I am on my way to the evening set. It's a little steamy, it's 70, it's like 72 degrees right now, but going out because uh, I've got a pattern on some deer, uh, one buck in particular by the name I call him, I call him Zeus, and uh, I wanna get there nice and early. He snuck by the camera um, this morning before daylight, so I know he's bedded relatively close. I got a good chance at him coming out to this plot. So I'm gonna ease in here, I got about a, just under a half mile walk to get into this spot. And, uh, a lot of work, hard work over the summer and see if we can't ca cash in on some of that hard work uh, on the opening day. Here we go. It is a breezy, warm day. Walking into a brass saw me flinch there it's it's almost like someone opened fire on me yeah <laughs> that gets a guy fired up some pheasants flushing gonna take breaks from now and then so I don't get so sweaty but hopefully the deer are moving early yesterday they were in this plot at 4 30 I'm trying to get in there about an hour before that if at all possible or close to it so I'm gonna sneak in get all set up settled in and hopefully fling an arrow stay tuned and hopefully I catch my breath by the time the deer show up it's hot. I'm set up over a brassica food plot primarily. Um, came in a little bit thinner than ideal, so I did come back uh, a couple weeks later, a few weeks later, and put some winter eye in with it. So it's a blend of a lot of goodies that the deer are just hammering this this time of year. It's I mean it's September 19th, um, and they, it's been a big big draw here in daylight hours. So hoping to get a shot at. Um, a buck I call Zeus. Um, he's a three and a half year old. I think he's a 14 point deer. He's not going to blow anybody's uh, scoring records out of the water by any means, but he's a cool deer. It's a deer I had a lot of encounters with last year. Um, he's got a two year old, found his sheds, and you know, just trying to make it come full circle here and knock him down. So, fingers crossed, and uh, Hopefully this deer can stay on the pattern he's been on the last um, last few nights. No! No! I am high. <gasps> I'm gonna be sick. <clears throat> I just said it was... I don't know what I did. Oh no! He was at 20 yards and I just pushed, I rushed the shot. <sighs> I'm shaking so bad. I just blew it. Well... Just looked at the footage. Um, it's not good. There's, I have very little hope that we find that deer. He ducked the string just a little bit. It's a deer I've been watching since last year and uh, hopefully I missed everything. Um,
I had all the time in the world. I'll have nightmares about that for a long time if we don't find this deer, which I'm very, very certain that that deer's not gonna die from that shot. I'm gonna puke. So after I got down after that sit, I was obviously very disappointed. I reached out to a ton of friends on Facebook, over text and calls, and just tried to get that footage in front of as many people that I thought might have a good idea of what I might have hit, what I might have missed, and what was the likelihood of that deer being dead. And the overall consensus was that that arrow went over the spine and was a non-lethal hit. Now there was a slight chance that somehow that arrow went under the spine and I was able to clip an artery, but the next morning we went out knowing just that it was either going to be an all or nothing, whether there was going to be a blood trail or not. So if it was a dead deer, we'd see a lot of blood due to an artery hit, but it was more likely we were going to see a, lot of, a little bit of muscle blood that would taper off within the first couple hundred yards, and that's exactly what we saw. So we didn't push into this deer's core area. We figured he was going to be just fine. We backed out after those couple hundred yards of tracking very limited blood, and we hoped to see him another day. A week later, Zeus popped back up on trail camera and I was completely relieved. You know, I was pretty confident that this deer was alive, but seeing him up on his feet and confirming it was a huge weight off my shoulders and I was excited to get after this deer again. Shortly after popping back up on trail camera, Zeus was right back up on his old, old pattern, going to that same food plot, and I actually had an encounter with him about two weeks after I had initially hit him in the exact same spot. I had him within 25 yards, he never offered me a shot, and when he finally did, I made a noise adjusting the camera while self-filming. He caught me and ran off. I tried a couple more times. Basically, any time that the wind was right, I was in this spot trying to kill this deer. Um, I drove through a big snowstorm in the middle of October. He was a no-show. Um, hunted a couple more times in between there. And what it came down to is he slowly and slowly went off of that pattern. He was expanding his territory and where he was roaming on a daily basis. As we marched into further into the second half of October, I knew it was probably time to get a little bit more aggressive and try meet him on his way back to the bedroom. So on the morning of October 24th, it was probably one of the shortest deer hunts I've ever had. He got him. I got him. I got him. I just shot the buck. I was in here after it. I had no time for an interview this morning. It's completely still in here. I, I got in here at first light because I knew it was going to be quiet, so I snuck in as quiet as possible, which sounded like a marching band. It, I'd been sitting for 10 minutes, and he came in perfectly. <laughs> Are you okay? I think I saw him go down. I hope I got the shot on footage. Mm. All right, calm down. That happened so fast. <laughs> October 24th. My first morning sit inside the woods. Going after this buck. I hit him a little bit far back, I think. But I think I saw him crash. Came in this morning. It's a very short walk in from a road, but it's dead calm right now. I came in at 
like just before sh first light because I knew it would be loud and I wanted to be able to see. And it sounded like I was a marching band in my head. I thought this morning shot. I, I got up in here, got situated, got my cameras on, didn't even have time for an interview and I heard him crunching and walking in. I couldn't adjust the camera. He was at 10 yards by the time I knew it was him. And I tried to draw when he was walking and when I, he must have heard me. And uh, I hit him. I snuck it right through a branch. At about, about 12 steps, 10, 12 steps. And I think he died the first spot I saw him as, a, as I think a two year old last year. <sighs> it just doesn't seem real. I've been after this deer since opening day. Opening day, I had the shot I had dreamed all summer for. 22 yards and I hit him high. I just had nightmares about it. Two weeks later, I had another encounter with him in the same, same spot. And he just never offered a shot. I was hunting in a closed blind and couldn't adjust to get a shot when he was broadside. The only shot I had was quartering too heavy. Now my first sit getting a little bit aggressive. He came in just as I had hoped. And I smoked him. That K2 fix just blazed right through him like going through hot butter. So <laughs> I saw him stumbling at about 60 yards and I'm sure he's dead right over there. Now what I'm considering doing, my brother's out duck hunting with his buddies and he'll come and film the, the retrieval for me. I want to tell him I shot a doe. He knows I'm after this buck. He knows I'm after a doe too. So we might have a little surprise for Mr. Mike. <laughs> the prank is on. My brother's texting me back from, from the duck blind. Just told him I shot a doe. He's pretty excited about it. Um, asked me if I saw it fall, so. And I'm pretty sure I'm, this buck is down. This would be the ultimate jinx if this buck somehow got away from me, but I can see a ton of blood right here when I'm using my, my binoculars. I saw him stumble, so we're gonna continue with the prank. <laughs> no way! That's freaking awesome! Hold on to it, hold on to it. Keep it good, dude. No way! Oh. Yes! That is the coolest thing ever. Got him! All right, here he is, 2020, it's October 24th. Came out this morning, um, looking for this buck, hoping to catch him before he went to bed. And he came out within 15, 20 minutes of me getting in the tree. And uh, the flicker blazed right through him. And he did not, he probably went 50 yards and slid down a hill and redeemed myself this morning. Luckily he gave me another chance and I made it count. An incredible morning. It didn't take long, he was, if I would have been five minutes later, I'm sure he would have heard me. And, and gone the other direction, but it all came together. He came out at 13 yards and uh, slid one right through him. K2 fixed broadhead. Again, it went through him like he was made out of hot butter. And uh, blood trail was incredible. And I just couldn't be happier. So looking forward to spending more weekend time with family and kids. So thanks Leah for all the time you let me slip away. Appreciate it. And uh, I guess you can get that honeydew list rocking. So we're gonna uh, take some pictures, tag him up, and uh, yeah, probably just stare at him for the rest of the day, to be honest with you.